Hi. Just want to do a quick video on uh, probably more like uh, my experience dealing with uh, roofing contractors and I guess contractors in general. Why they didn't want they did not want to give out estimates even after follow up with them because uh, I got very frustrated with I think probably fifty percent of uh, roofing contractors. Uh, I'm in Southern California. Didn't want to return call or nothing no no reply no text uh so i guess uh first of all they just simply don't want to work that's number one they don't care or they're not interested in helping you the second one i think that some of them probably very busy and uh, they uh, they have uh, pretty, pretty much booked for the next few months they don't need any more business but for courtesy they should at least tell you i think one one of the roofers you know, I I call and he told me that you know he just turned to be straight out that you know he, he uh, his schedule is really booked for the next few months and won't be able to to help me. At least you know he's nice enough to let me know, but uh, it got kind of frustrated because you don't know. You know they seem to be having good reviews on Yelp or whatever nextdoor.com, but a lot of them did. You know I had one guy. This guy never. He very short. Looked like he I don't know maybe he had enough business. He. Every time I try to contact him, he, he you know, he, he, he sent out one text back and that was it. He didn't give me any estimate, nothing or stop by. So it can get very frustrated. So one, you find the one that you like and they reply to you, uh, you know, that, that is good. But uh, you're going to be getting a lot of, uh, you know, these people that are not willing to, you know, take, take at least a week, even that. You call them back, they still didn't have the estimate ready for you. So either some of them are like employees, so they're not really active. Or I know, you know, it's take time for them to, a lot of them use the software, some of them don't. But, you know, my goodness, you know, within a day or two, you should be able to, you know, to give you some estimates. Um, and like I say, uh, maybe the third reason is just they, uh, I don't know, uh, they just overbooked and, you know, I had one guy who was very interested, but I kept asking him, you know, uh, about the estimate. He actually stopped by a couple of times. Uh, he works for one of the franchise in, uh, uh, I get in the water damage industry, and two three times it's kind of weird. Maybe he he's just not interested after all, or he he. Uh, I guess some of them want want you to tell them, hey, I hire you, give me the estimate, right? They want to to be sure that you hire them or something, but. You, you cannot hire anyone until you know their cost. So, yeah, I'm gonna get very frustrated and um, post your comments below because I think my neighbors have the same problem, especially the roofing company during maybe peak season or after a major storm, they just don't want to return your calls, nothing. They, they're just all, all, you know, swamped, I guess. Anyway, uh, hopefully, you know, I got everybody light up that I almost done with my, uh, roof leak and damages inside the drywall and had some mold so almost at the end um, the other trick is that uh, I had to replace some drywalls uh, under my skylight and I'm using this guy who's a handyman and uh, I have to warn you guys that you know you guys should go with that uh, in terms of drywalls if you have a few areas you know it's not like minor um, you want to get a specialist because they can get things done pretty quickly with the, the handyman, he had other jobs, and so far it took me on, like I said, so far it took seven days and he did not finish, because we have some other work for him, but he did not even finish one room yet. I mean, it took a long time, so lesson learned is that get a specialist who can get this done within three or four days. Uh, I had a little issue because um, I had a big vanity in the middle of the, my bathroom that sort of, uh, make it slower to do the drywall work you know up in the ceilings and by the uh, skylight so that was uh and then uh, i also had to hang uh, reassemble my kitchen cabinets and that took handyman a long time to do it so i will split your project into half if you have water damage of course you need to get a uh, water damage company people remove everything as soon as possible within 24 or 48 hours to prevent mold and then you I recommend you to get a specialized, I mean, spe drywall specialist to come and do the drywall. Do not use a handyman, even though, you know, uh, you might want to, but I, unless they're really good. Uh, 
but I think again it, it depends some handyman I'm sure they're good with drywall but um, in, in my case it's taking too long just to do the drywalls if I could have hired a specialist drywall specialist he'll should get it done within three or four days and then I can do the rest of my project so now it's like seven days already and still almost there slowly but I think you will be um, because you don't want you know uh, these uh, plastic containments and dust in your house for a long time you want to get done very quickly within three or four days because it's you know it's not good and your wife might not like it too long if it, your kitchen gonna be like that for too long anyway see you folks on the next video what do you think about you know contractors refuse or not giving you estimates uh, share your experience and take care bye for now